The starting point when it comes to choosing which format to shoot a movie on is between digital and film. If film is selected, by far the most popular film format is 35mm. But what you may not know is that there are then three further format choices that need to be made between 2PERF, 3PERF or 4PERF. But what is a PERF and how does it affect both the budget and how the footage looks? Let's find out. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform you can use to build a website for your business. The manner in which a piece of 35mm film is exposed is determined by the negative pulldown. This is described in what are called PERFs. PERFs stand for perforations and are the little holes that you see in the film that span the length of each individual frame. These holes align with sprockets, which turn in order to mechanically pass an unspooling roll of film vertically through the camera. The film is exposed when it's hit by light which is let through the lens. 35mm film frames can be shot with either 4 vertical perfs, 3 perfs or 2 perfs. As the width of a 35mm frame is standardized to a size of 24.9mm, the number of perfs only affect the height of the frame that's recorded, with 2 perf capturing the skinnier surface area and 4 perf capturing the tallest surface area. Exposing a larger area of film to light is kind of like the digital equivalent of recording at a higher resolution. The larger the area, the more clarity and higher fidelity it will be. However, the larger the exposure area, the more film needs to be used and the more you will need to pay for film stock and development. So perfs affect both the cost of shooting as well as the quality or fidelity of the image. The motion picture camera that is used must be specifically set to record frames with a certain number of perfs by adjusting the speed at which the film runs through the camera as well as the height of the gate that lets through light. Most cameras can record either 4 perf or 3 perf, while only specific cameras can record 2 perf frames. There are two different steps to the filmmaking pipeline, capturing images on film with a camera and projecting those images on film by passing light through them. Image capture can happen on either 4, 3 or 2 perf. However, 35mm film projectors are set to work with a 4 perf film print. This means that if you capture film in 2 or 3 perf, you would still need to print the final 35mm projection roll in 4 perf frames. However, now that digital projection has taken over, it's possible to capture 35mm in either 2, 3 or 4 perf, scan the film negative and then work with the scan in the same way as a digital file, which can later be sent out to cinemas that use a digital projector or for online distributors to upload the file and stream it digitally. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, when motion picture film technology was undergoing development, 4 perf 35mm film capture and projection emerged as the industry standard. This produced a tall aspect ratio of 1.33 to 1. 4 perf offers the largest exposure area of 35mm film at 18.7mm tall. Because more surface area is used, the film grain will be smaller and the image will be of a higher quality. This large surface area also allows lots of possibilities for aspect ratios. When shooting Super 35 with normal spherical lenses, the frame can be used for taller aspect ratios like 1.33 to 1. Or the top and bottom can be cropped to get widescreen aspect ratios like 1.85 or 2.40 to 1. Before digital, this crop would have been done by printing the final film to a different ratio with a letterbox, or by using a narrower plate that chopped off the top and bottom of the frame when projecting. Now this can be done by scanning the negative and using software to crop the image. 4PERF can also be used with anamorphic lenses. These lenses squeeze the image by a factor of 2, to around a 1.2 to 1 aspect ratio. 
so that it is captured as a tall compressed film frame. It's then later de-squeezed by a factor of 2 to get it to a widescreen 2.40 to 1 aspect ratio. Because this method uses such a large portion of the tall 4 per frame, anamorphic negatives have a higher fidelity and low amount of grain. Another advantage of 4 perf is that when shooting Super 35, the extra recorded area on the top and bottom of the image that will be cropped out can help with VFX work, such as tracking. A disadvantage of 4 perf is that more film runs through the camera faster, which makes it noisier. This also means that it uses the most film out of the 35mm formats, which means more money must be spent on buying film stock and developing it. It also means that a 400 foot roll of film will only be able to record for a mere 4 minutes and 26 seconds before a new roll must be reloaded into the camera. Before we go on to talk about 2 and 3 per film, I'd like to thank Squarespace for making the video possible through their sponsorship. As a cinematographer or filmmaker of any kind, you'll need to get a job as a freelancer. And to do that, you'll need a website where people can contact you and see your portfolio. One of the best ways to do this is by using Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that you can use to design a nice looking website all by yourself by using their templates. Squarespace has lots of useful tools for creators, such as being able to host and showcase your videos or creative work in galleries, so that prospective clients or collaborators can get a sense of what you've done. To set up your website, be sure to head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash indepthcine to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. In the 80s, cinematographer Rune Erickson collaborated with Panavision to produce the first 3 perf mechanism for 35mm cinema cameras. Shooting each frame 3 perforations tall, as opposed to 4, produced a less tall frame with a height of 13.9mm and an approximate aspect ratio of 16 by 9. When shot with spherical lenses, this negative could easily be ever so slightly cropped to get to a 1.85 aspect ratio, or more cropped to get to a 2.40 aspect ratio. Because of the lack of height of the frame, 3 perf wasn't suitable for using 2 times anamorphic lenses, as it would require too much of the frame width to be cropped and therefore go against the point of getting a high quality anamorphic image. Therefore, 3 perf is best when used with spherical lenses. However, it is possible to use the much less common 1.3 times anamorphic lenses with 3 perf film, as they squeeze a 16 by 9 size negative into a widescreen 2.40 to 1 aspect ratio. Due to the decrease in recording surface area, grain will be slightly more prominent in the image than when using 4 perf. The main reasons for shooting 3 perf rather than 4 perf are financial and practical. 3 perf uses 25% less film, which means a 25% reduction in the cost of both film stock and processing of the film at a lab. It also means that the camera can record for 33% longer than 4 perf, so a 400 foot roll gives a total runtime of 5 minutes and 55 seconds before the camera needs to be reloaded. This is practically useful, especially when shooting during golden hour or in situations where taking the time to reload a camera might mean missing a shot. Tuperf, first called Technoscope, gained popularity in the 60s when it was used to shoot a lot of spaghetti westerns. These movies were often done on quite low budgets, yet wanted a wide 2.40 aspect ratio to frame the characters in sweeping landscapes. Tuperf does this by further cutting down on the vertical recording height of the negative, taking it to 9.35mm, creating a native widescreen aspect ratio. At the same time, this reduction in frame size also equates to a reduction in the amount of film that needs to be used. 
Since it's about half the height of 4Perf, about 50% can be saved on purchasing film stock and processing film. Therefore, 2Perf was a great solution to both save money and create a widescreen aspect ratio. It also basically doubles the recording time of each roll, allowing you to get 8 minutes and 53 seconds with 400 feet of film. This means that it's possible to either roll for longer takes, or that many more short takes can fit on the roll before needing to reload the camera. Because it's so skinny and lacks height, it's not possible to use this format with anamorphic lenses, not that you would need to since you get the same aspect ratio by using spherical lenses. It's also only rarely suitable for using this aspect ratio, as getting a taller ratio would require cropping into the image far too much and increase how the film grain looks significantly. Although it has the same ratio as anamorphic, it has a different look. Because the surface area is much smaller than 4Perf, the grain shows up as much more prominent. In the modern era where film stocks have become much finer grain and cleaner looking, some cinematographers like using 2Perf to deliberately bring out more filmic texture and make the footage feel a bit more gritty. I'd say 2Perf 35mm is basically a middle ground between a cleaner 4Perf 35mm look and a grainier 16mm gauge stock. How many perfs you choose to shoot on has an effect on a number of factors. 4Perf records onto a greater surface area which looks cleaner, with less grain, can be used with both anamorphic lenses or spherical lenses, and has room to crop to different aspect ratios. However, this comes at a higher cost, with a camera that makes more noise and very short roll times. On the other hand, 2 and 3 perf use less of the negative, which makes the image a bit grainier, isn't compatible with 2 times anamorphic lenses, and limits the amount of taller aspect ratios you can choose from. But it's much cheaper, and the camera can roll for longer. In this way, the choice of 35mm film format is another technical decision which filmmakers can make that affects both the look and feeling of the image, as well as providing certain technical limitations and advantages. As usual, a special thanks to all the patrons for your continued support of the channel. If you like this content, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification. Otherwise, until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.